After having spent years writing about the widely celebrated, like Charles Darwin and Galileo Galilei, author and illustrator Peter Cease decided to write about a silent hero. The story about Nicholas Vinton was so good that it was very hard to think how would I make a book about a man who works for three, four months, saves 700 children, and and then he doesn't speak about it for 50 years. Nicholas Winton, or Nikki, is one of the main characters of Nikki and Vera, Cease's latest book about how Winton spent what was supposed to be his ski vacation working on evacuating and saving the lives of nearly 700 children in Nazi-occupied Czechoslovakia by putting them on trains to London. Vera in the book is Vera Gissing. She was one of the children on the train Nicholas Winton saved. And her childhood in the book was so ideal because she had loving parents. She would be living in the small town, running in the countryside and chasing butterflies and climbing trees. And she had no idea there is some danger coming from distance because uh, Germany is just next door and Hitler and the Nazis were sort of getting stronger and stronger. If the story sounds familiar, you may have seen this clip from the BBC in the late 80s. Dozens of the hundreds of children Winton saved surprising him on a TV show. Is there anyone in our audience tonight who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? If so, could you stand up please? Mr. Winton, would you like to turn round? This moment is captured in Cease's book, too, that the 50 years of silence was for a reason, because Winton believed he didn't need to be thanked. Nicholas Winton somehow didn't feel this need that because he felt like the children were safe, he always complained that he could have saved thousands of more if other governments would have helped uh, to, to ship the children out of of the dangers. This is going to be used as a tool for parents to have conversations with kids about the Holocaust. Why is that so important? If it works that the book or the project can mean something to other people and especially to children or to schools or to the whole society, the book will come out now in many languages. It's really about reaching somebody. And I think we all feel it uh, so much more now when we are in this really uh, dark times before the sun will come out again. This is a key to starting early and making sure that this is a part of education and that none of this is forgotten. Do you think that's true, that the education on this is slipping? I think it's education in everything. It's so shocking for me when so many people like me come to America because you're looking for society which would give you freedom and nobody would be judging you. I think it is the education. And I think if people would take time and think about it, uh, this, this couldn't happen. The education of what happened must always continue. That is why, again, we say never forget. Another reason why this is so critical right now the passing of time creates a lack of knowledge and empathy. A survey done across America by the Claims Conference showed there are signs we aren't teaching this history enough. The survey questioned adults under 40 years of age, and it showed overall that 63% of those asked did not know that 6 million Jews were murdered in the Holocaust. Here in Minnesota, 53% of those questioned said they knew people were killed but didn't know how many. We must never forget, and Nikki, of who that story is based, his life a blessing. Be right back.